I'm Dennis with TerraFlex. This is our rear track bar bracket. It serves a couple of purposes. It keeps the roll center geometry correct between the front and the rear track bars, and it also centers the axle under the Jeep. If you don't have one of these on your Jeep, get one. It really helps the way they drive. First thing I like to do is take this track bar bolt out. We take it out while it's on the ground so that it doesn't bind up. It just makes it easy to take it out. Yeah. While you're on the ground, that bolt will just slide right out. You don't have to fight it. Let's go ahead and lift it. Okay, got the track bar pulled out. Get that up out of the way. What we're going to do is that will give us access to this lower control arm bolt. And as is the case with a, a lot of the bolts on these JK suspension components, 21 is your friend. Alright, that's pretty much got everything out of the way. We're ready to put the bracket on. It's just going to straddle the existing track bar bracket. It's got the one arm that goes down and catches the lower control arm bolt just to get some lateral strength. We're going to use the original bolt that we took out of the uh, original track bar up in the upper hole. So we'll just leave that up here and we'll be ready to put that in. For the lower bolt, we've got a new half inch bolt with a spacer in it. Well, this spacer is going to slide right up inside of the original bracket and it's just going to give us a, uh, something to pinch again so that when we tighten up this lower bolt it'll, it'll pinch on here without crushing the bracket. Go ahead and slide that in. Before we tighten anything up, we want to get all the bolts in it so that we can get it all into position. Just started. We're not going to be fighting ourselves. We'll put that bolt in last. This lower control arm bolt, pull that arm down. And as you sight through it, you can see that it, it doesn't line up that great because we've got the pressure off it. So we can either put it back on the ground or put it in, or if you've got a jack stand, just roll that jack stand in there and take a little bit of pressure off it and then line it up. Okay, we've got all our bolts in and just started. We can go through and tighten up. This one's a good one to tighten up. We can tighten up our, our U-bolt. I like to leave the, uh, the lower control arm one loose because we don't want to be tightening up our bushings while it's in a droop position up in the air. It'll uh, put a lot of unnecessary load on the bushings when we get it down into a, in its normal ride height. And we'll put in our track bar bolt when we're down on the ground. So we'll do those on the ground. Just go ahead and, and get these upper ones now. Okay, this is a half inch bolt, so we'll just use a three quarter inch socket. Hold the back side. I like to tighten this one while the track bar is out of the way, because it gives you access for your air gun to get at it. time so you pull that U-bolt in straight. You don't want to just cinch up one leg. Alright, that should be good. We'll put it down on the ground, put our track bar bolt in, and 
tighten up that lower control arm and uh, we're done. Alright, with the Jeep back on the ground, it really lines this track bar up with our new bracket with the hole there. It makes it pretty easy to install the bolt. I wanted to talk about this, this existing hardware. On the nut on it, it has a little arm on it that keeps the, uh, the nut from spinning so that when you tighten it from the outside, you don't have to put a nut on it. That's the good news. But if you get your hand back there when you're tightening this up and it spins, that thing will spin around back there and it will hurt you. So let's go ahead and put it in. Don't start it in too far because you're pretty close to the spring back here. So you want to be able to get that rear nut started. Tighten up the lower control arm. Well, that's a, that's a pretty easy install. You're going to be really surprised at how much better it makes your JK drive and handle. I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Dennis with Terraflex. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Are you kidding me?